What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Marcus Perez and Eric Spicely. It's in the middleweight division. Should be a good one here. Let's talk about some notes. So, first thing, Spicely, very good grappler. He's a tough veteran. He was assembly finalist on the show. I believe he lost to Andrew Jackson, if that's the name. Honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember. El Durte, Andrew. That's what I remember. Um, he has a win over Tiago Santos, which is a big win. He's a scrappy striker on the feet and, and he can brawl a bit and he has been knocked out in the past though so something to take note of now marcus perez scrappy fighter he likes to be creative with his striking attack solid takedown defense and he can be taken down though at times hey, but he, he defends well but especially towards the second and third round he can be taken down a bit if he gets a bit tired. Now, I like this fight. I feel like Perez, if he can keep Spicely off, he should be able to win this fight. But I don't know if he can. I think that Spicely's going to come in there and give him a very tough fight. I feel like he may get the back. And I think if he gets the back once, it definitely could be dangerous. I'm going to pick Spicely getting a submission in the second round. Now, you look at the odds. Plus 165 to minus 205. This is an upset fight. Now, do I want to bet on this one? Maybe not. But if you want to bet on something, you're feeling that confidence and spicely that I'm feeling, you can throw a little bit down and make yourself some money if he pulls it off. It's not an easy fight for him. And he has been beaten, but so is Perez. Both coming off losses. Let me check against who. I know for Perez, it was Wellington Turman. Welling, yes, Wellington Turman. Uh, was the last loss for Perez, but, but right before that, he actually beat Anthony Hernandez, who was undefeated at the time. Um, Eric Spicely, on the other hand, he lost to Deron Wynn, and then before that, he was winning two fights outside the octagon. He actually beat former UFC fighter Keo Magalhães um, in 2019. I like Spicely here. I'm riding with him for the upset. Let's check out a little picture of Spicely. Let's give him the love. Spicely right there. He's getting it done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.